If you know me, you know what Lil Wayne means to me in my career and how big of an influence he's been. It's one of my favorite possessions in my entire house that I own. Yo, what's up? This is G Easy. Um, I'm usually always on the road touring and I never really get to appreciate my house as much as I do right now, but since we're all quarantined and we're all staying inside, it's been really nice to get to appreciate my home. So I'm gonna take you through some of the things I like to collect. This is curated with G Easy. Start right here with my piano. This is, you know, part of the way I like to start my day, man. I made my coffee and I just come over here and I just mess around. Man. Just, you know, it really ties the room together along with the rugs. So both of my parents are actually visual artists. Um, my mom is a photographer and printmaker and my dad's a sculptor. So art, you know, has kind of always been around me. That's why they probably always encourage creativity or whatever. But, um, you know, I've been fortunate and blessed enough to, to meet artists that inspire me from all different kinds of mediums along my journey. Um, this piece right here is something that my friend Kai actually made for me. This, this is a Fuchi that was commissioned just for me in my house. Um, yeah, I mean, you know, like I said, art has, uh, has been a part of my life for my whole life. And, you know, I love to appreciate, you know, all forms of art, not just music, but, you know, from, uh, from visual art to, you know, everything in between. This is a great friend of mine, Ashley Longshore. It's a portrait of Lil Wayne who, you know, when I moved to New Orleans, it was 2007. I lived there for six years. And if you know me, you know what Lil Wayne means to me in my career and how big of an influence he's been. So I just always love this piece. She gave it to me as a gift. It's one of the, it's one of my favorite possessions in my entire house that I own. So shouts out to Ashley Longshore. Much love. Here's another one of my favorite pieces by my homie Kai. Um, this is kind of like his iconic, like, you know, almost like what he became known for. This, this figure, this theme kind of between like love and money. And I decided to get a tattoo on my chest right here, right under my heart. But um, it's incredible when you know, you and your friends, you kind of ascend, you know, in different realms, different mediums, different spaces, but, you know, your paths are, you know, along the same kind of line. So it's, it's, you know, I love to support friends and I love to watch friends win, man. It's a beautiful thing. Here, this is actually a piece by my mom. Um, this is a Christmas gift a few years ago, but she's forever my favorite artist, um, you know, and I'm very grateful to, you know, to get to like, wake up every day and, you know, see a piece of hers that I find very beautiful. If you know me or if you listen to my music, you know that collecting Saint Laurent, you know, has been a passion of mine for years and years and years. It would take a long time to go through the whole collection and I can't walk you through all of that, but we'll just grab a few pieces and show you, you know, all of these jackets, they have stories to tell, you know, from shows I've played in them. This is the jacket I wore the first time I ever headlined the Oracle Arena in my hometown. Um, I actually haven't worn it since. I wanted to keep it fresh and preserve that, that, that memory and that moment. This velvet is just so beautiful and delicate. Um, this jacket right here, I bought in New York City on one of my first tours and then my bus burned down. This was one of the only things that survived. It was like a crazy accident while I was on stage. My blood, tour bus caught on fire. Um, and this jacket made it through the storm. It's got many stories to tell. This red leather's been through some stuff. Right here, this pink Saint Laurent piece I wore on stage when I played Coachella for the first time. Um, it was one of the most, you know, like defining sets I've ever performed in my life. I mean, obviously Coachella is a huge deal. I'd wanted to play it forever. You know, this was a huge opportunity for me. And I remember wearing this pink shirt and Quincy Jones was side stage watching my whole set. I was just, I was, I was, I was, I was you know, just in awe that he would come and support me and watch my whole show. But this will forever hold a close place in my heart. So this is upstairs in my studio. One of my favorite rooms in the house. A lot of books, a lot of my plaques that, you know, when I think about the journey, you know, when I started making music, you know, from touring and SUVs to vans to buses to, you know, having heavy label, you know, not believe in me, not want to sign me, not see the vision, following our vision, you know, it's, I mean, it's just, 
it's a little cliche, but it's like a reminder of like, you know, chase your dreams. Don't let anyone tell you that you can't, you know, you can't become what you want to become. You can't be who you want to be and you can't follow your dreams. Everything in this, in this room from the plaques to, you know, the Kermit Supreme to a signed Kobe jersey directly to me, to my brother Carl Towns. Um, you know, it's just, it's one of those rooms that it just, it, it brings it all full circle and, and it's important reminders, you know, to walk past the Kobe jersey that's signed that says, do the phenomenal, 2G easy. As I walk down to my studio, it's hard not to want to work your ass off and, you know, go hard every single time. So let's take a look. Yeah, this is um, Far Along with E40 and J Ant. You know, a record that was made for the Bay Area just to celebrate where I'm from and how far we've come. So shouts out, you know, to the whole Bay for all the love forever um, off my first album. Let's Get Lost with Devin off of my first album, one of the first songs that really connected. You know, and then this one's big. To celebrate my first two albums. Protect me, myself, and I. I mean it. Um, you know, No Limit it was obviously a huge record for me. And uh, I mean, yeah, you know, these these represent the journey, and that's what it's all about, bro. You know, just staying humble but staying hungry at the same time. And then this right here. This was the jacket of all jackets. This is the one I wore for like three years on tour that, you know, my good friend Reggie, who's a famous artist now, he painted for me for, um, for, the, for the cover of When It's Dark Out, the album that really changed my life. So, you know, these are all just reminders of the journey. And I'm grateful to be here. Shouts out to Esquire, man. I appreciate you guys for letting me show off some of my personal curated collection inside my home, the things that, that I'm proud of that make me happy.